I'm mad at myself now, aren't you? I'm frequently asked about challenges at a women's college when it comes to producing theater. People think of theater as all of humanity, and that means men and women. We approach those challenges in a variety of ways, and I think rather successfully. I want our students to play the great roles whenever possible, and we try to produce plays in such a way that makes that possible. Uh, there's an example in theater circles of casting a woman in the lead role in The Tempest and renaming that character Prospera instead of Prospero. I have no problem with that, but I would like our students to play Prospero. That's my feeling. I think acting at a women's college is very exciting because not only do you get to play male characters, which is something that would not really be available in another setting, but you also think about your characters differently than, than you would otherwise. Um, gender becomes a less important factor in developing a character, so you really get to focus on other personality traits and characteristics and really develop the complexities of a character. When we enter into a contract to produce a play, we must perform it as written, and if we want to make any changes, we have to apply for permission. That goes to the publisher, the author, the author's agent, and anyone else connected with that work. So it can be a lengthy process. Once upon a time, even on this campus, it was thought that women wouldn't be doing such things as hammering or sawing or doing anything that might be akin to carpentry. But a lot of producing theater is just that. Behind the scenes, you have to create the scenes. And our women can swing a hammer with the best of them. And we like it that way. The women's college environment really forces directors and actors to think more creatively about the production process and the development of characters. And that gives me a really cutting edge perspective on producing theater.